Welcome to the awakening teaching from the underworld, the official residence of the fallen star. Brought to you live by Shetani Monyewe, the pin of darkness and the custodian of counterfeits. Please sit back and listen to how the world known common, self-confessed, thief and notorious called blooded murderer unmask himself as he talks to Christians. You are about to see the pathological lie, the invisible accuser, the serpent flicking his poisonous tongue, looking for someone to devour. Put on the full armor of God, the master of deception, the pathological liar, the father of lies, will be appearing on stage momentarily. Please stay tuned and enjoy. Being brought to you courtesy of Maono Prayer Center. <laughs> I'm back again. I am back again. Welcome to the continuation of part two of the devil's tools of business. Remember in part one, we talked about destruction as a tool of business, my business. We talked of deception as a tool of business. <laughs> we talked about discouragement as a tool of business. We talked of doubt as a tool of business. We talked about discontentment as a tool of business. We talked about division as a tool of business. <laughs> Devil Mwenyewe, I'm the undertaker from Underwater. Devil Mwenyewe. <laughs> Today, I'm going to take you through um, other tools of business that I use. <clears throat> Last time I had to cut my presentation short because uh, I had to organize my undertakers to disrupt some church affairs. Now, today I'm going to take you tool number seven. I'm going to continue from tool number seven. I use fear as a tool to disrupt your affairs. What's fear? Let me tell you something small about fear. Fear itself means, <clears throat> fear it is an acronym which reads false evidence appearing real. False evidence appearing real fear. I will instill false evidence appearing real in you. That is fear. The fear of the past, mm -hmm. the fear of the present, mm -hmm. the fear of tomorrow, that's the future. Mm -hmm. And the fear of the unknown, four things. Fear of the past, the fear of the present, the fear of tomorrow, and the fear of the unknown. I'm going to instill in you false evidence appearing real. I'll make sure that you live permanently in fear. Yeah, that's my job as a devil. No. Although, although your father, your father, you, 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 whom you know that is in heaven, I don't know. Man. Now, although your father has given you a spirit of power and love and sound mind, although your father has given you a spirit of power, love and sound mind, I, 
the devil in a chain. Surambaya. I'll make sure that you are living in, number one, you're living in fear of being sucked from your work. All the time, oh, oh, oh I, I won't be sucked permanently in fear of being sucked from your work. Fear of not being hurt. Fear of, of being employed, of not being employed even, even if you have three degrees. You have that fear of not being employed. Fear of death. <laughs> fear of being divorced. <laughs> fear, 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 fear. That is my job. Therefore, please do not blame anybody. If, 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 if you get sacked or divorced tomorrow, don't, don't blame anybody, blame me, me. And if you want to fight with me, please come. Come on, baby, come on, baby, come on, baby. I re I, I'm ready for you. But make sure you are wearing what's called the armor of God. Otherwise, I'll smash you, kill you. Yes. In, let me tell you this, this scripture. I like reading from the scripture. Uh, because I was there, you know, when this, these scriptures were being written. Your father tells you this. Even if your father tells you this, <clears throat> otherwise I'd still instill fear in you. Even if your father tells me in, in Isaiah 41, verse 10, your, your daddy tells you this. Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not dismay, be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with the right, my righteous hand. That's your, your father telling you that. Your father, but you don't, you don't get to hear. But let me warn you. Please do not read Second Timothy, uh, verse one. No. Second Timoth, chapter one, verse seven. <sighs> because if you do that, if you do, if you read that verse, then your father will give you the boldness, the power, the sound mind, which will give you my troops a hard time to meet their daily targets. If you read that verse, Second Timoth. Chapter 1, verse 7. Then that scripture, as I know, will give you power, boldness, and sound mind, which will give my Dalbans, my demons, a hard time to, 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 to make you worry. So don't, 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 don't read that one. Yeah? So that's true number, 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 number. <clears throat> Number seven, fear. I'll instill in fear in you. Another tool that I'll instill in you is worry. My motto is to make you sure that you dwell in, in, in the past. What about the future? And don't live and don't live in the present. That you are worried about yesterday and tomorrow that you don't worry you don't mind uh, 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 what is happening around you now let me ask you a question a couple of questions or three <clears throat> uh -huh. 
are you worried about things that have happened in the past? Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you, are you, are you worried about things that are happening now? Maybe you are being retrenched. That's me. Yeah. <laughs> Are you worried about yesterday? You had to see me. <laughs> Are you worried of what, what will happen to you tomorrow? Maybe you won't be sucked or drenched. That is me. You know why you're getting worried? Because you don't read in the Philippians. You don't read your Bible. In the Philippians 4, 6, you are told, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your, your request to God. You don't read that. Because you don't read, don't have time to read, because you, 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 you don't trust in him, you don't believe in him, I still come and then see it worry up in you. And in, in the Philippians 419, your father tells you that you should that that he is going to supply with you. I mean supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Jesus Christ. Even though, irrespective of these promises, which you know it doesn't, it doesn't uh, uh, fulfill, I will, I will make you worry about nothing, uh, about everything in the past, in the present, today, and in the future. Make, make, make you worry things of which you are not you don't have any control of. And make sure that you don't pray. That's my word. Yeah. In Matthew 6, verse 34, you see how I know the Bible more than you? The Bible says that do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. That's your father telling you. But you don't read, you don't have time for that. You don't trust him, you don't believe in him. So you can never tell you this, I know you're not going to read. So it is not that right, but tell, let me tell you anyway. Because uh, uh, it makes no difference. Otherwise, you know, you, know, you don't know. Now, I will make you anticipate trouble. Or worry about about what is what will never happen to you tomorrow. You be worried and worried. I will make you cross imaginary bridges hmm? even before you come to them. You are worried about those bridges. You have not come to them. I will make you sure that you have died many times <laughs> before you died after death. <laughs> I make sure that you die so many times before you die after, in the, after, your, after your death because of worry, worry, worry. You know what? Those worries haunting you now because of your past and the present deeds, making you feel guilty of being activated from the underworld by my demonic troops. They are pulling strings of worry against you. Yeah, worry, worry. You die even before you die. You cross preachers even before you come to them. Worried, 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 that's me, the devil, not <laughs> Rule number nine. 
itu namanya loneliness. Right? The word loneliness. A marriage certificate opens gates of loneliness. If you, mar you get married, that certificate of marriage will give you uh, 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 will open a gate for loneliness. That's when you become lonely, if you get married. <laughs> marriage and loneliness are a conjoined twins. They are together. You cannot separate them. <laughs> You will not separate them. I will therefore use loneliness to distort reality to make you see and believe things that aren't real. Loneliness is my best tool which I use to enter into your lives. Huh? Yeah, I use the, the, the loneliness tool to make good people do things that you will never do if they were busy. Because you are only do stuff which you wouldn't have done. Loneliness, that's my tool. Now, remember what I did to your so-called grandmother. You know the grandmother at the Eden? If when she was all alone in the garden, you know what I did to her? Because of loneliness, he was alone. Adam was not with, with her. So I do to you what I did to, to her. Even you. <laughs> Just remember how I used to you. Uh, uh, even you. Just remember how I used you. You did when you, what you did when your spouse was away. Remember. Remember what you did when your spouse was away? Do you? Do you remember the name of that house boy? That, that, that house car? Remember what you did when your spouse was away? <laughs> Loneliness. <laughs> remember what you did when your parents were away? <laughs> <laughs> eh? You remember what you did when your boss was away? Eh? There are multitudes of people, let me tell you, in this world. A lot of people who are in my camp of loneliness. Many. This camp is full of rejected people like you. Remember, you are rejected. You were in a relationship the other day. You are rejected. You are lonely. Remember, you are looking for a spouse. You can't get. You are lonely. In that mode of loneliness, that's where I come and kick. I instill the spirits of rejection. Because of it's from this camp of rejection that I get candidates for suicide. My camp of loneliness, that's why I get candidates for suicide. <laughs> if you hear somebody is, 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 has, has committed suicide, that means I have removed him or her from my camp of loneliness and subject him or her suicide immediately. Now, although in Matthew 1820, in Matthew 1820, it appears that uh, once that once one is saved, this God cannot leave him nor forsake him. That's according to Matthew 1820. That once somebody has gotten saved, and then his father, the God. Cannot leave him, cannot forsake him. But instead, he will be with him everywhere he goes until the end of the world. That is a fact you don't know. And that's a secret you should not know. 
because you know that secret, you not feel lonely. And if you don't feel lonely, I not get to you. Matthew 18, 20. That if you get saved, God will enter into you. And if he enters into you, he cannot forsake you. He cannot leave you alone. Yeah? Instead, he will be with you. And, and with him, you will go everywhere he goes until the end of the world. All the same, I will still make sure that you don't receive this so-called salvation yeah, in your life. Because if you do so, then it will kill erroneous instantly. So don't get saved, man. If you get this, 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 this accommodation, your God will never leave you, will never forsake you. But if you don't want salvation, come, come on, come on, come on. I'll, I'll take you to the loneliness camp. From where I'll, 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 take, I'll, I'll get you as a candidate of uh, suicide. Tool number nine, tool number 10, still. Are you still as a tool of, of business to pull you down? I will steal your health. And in its place, I give you some diseases of various kinds like cancer. HIV, AIDS, as, as well as COVID-19. And make sure that you're permanently wearing masks wherever you go. I still help you. Look, look, look out, out there. How many people have I killed in, with HIV and, and, and AIDS and COVID-19? Many. And I'm still killing. What am I doing? I'm stealing your health. By COVID alone, I've, I'm still killing now. I will steal your vision and the purpose in life. And in its place, I'll give you a void of or a vacuum which you try to fill, but you'll never ever fill it. Take away your vision and the purpose in life. And in its place, I put a, a vacuum or a void which you will never fill. You try to fill it up, you will never fill it. For example, you, you, you don't know why you were born because I have stolen your vision. You don't know. You just, you're just running at, uh, all over the place looking for, for happiness. You don't know what happiness is. You don't know why God created you. Hmm? Why? Because I've stolen your vision. Hmm? And I'll put a vacuum that you can never ever feel, moving from one job to another, moving from one wife to another, one relationship to another. You, you'll never get satisfied why i've stolen the vision the purpose for which you you, you were born i don't i don't want you to know that <laughs> now protecting your material wealth some of you are so rich so rich you are put you, you are put machinists bankers now even if you, you you, you walk with armed bodyguards. Let me tell you, even if you walk with armed bodyguards, even in electrical uh, fenced wire uh, uh, homes, protect, protecting your treasures, you know, on this earth, I will still steal them. I will still come and steal them. Because, because the, the wires don't defend me. 
protective huh? I still come in that's who I am I just come in and do my things without any interest at all I believe that stealing is a good way of balancing wealth or a better way of redistributing wealth that's what I believe you don't have to 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 to, to amass so much wealth. You know the Bible says in, in Matthew 6, 19 to 21, Jesus said to, <clears throat> said, do not lay up all for yourselves. Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on this earth where, where I'm the leader, where the moth and rust destroy and where thieves can break in and, and steal. But lay up dresses up in heaven we are neither moth nor us no devil like me cannot be but you don't hear that you still don't you don't you don't know this fast let me tell let me repeat it to you again even if you are not going to read it i know don't have time even if you read it you don't believe in, in, in me so let me tell you matthew 6 verse 19 to 21 He's telling you, don't amass wealth on this world which belongs to me because I've finished it. Instead, save in heaven. Yeah. Now, however, I will still make sure that you, you accumulate all the pre perishables, materials or assets worth which I can steal at will. <laughs> you are you are not running all over the place saving, you know, selling saving marchionettes, estates, cars, you know, and make sure that you accumulate as many as possible. Yeah. Which I will steal. <laughs> Tool number 11. I'm just about to finish my tools of trade. Okay. The most effective way of uh, destroying a person is to deny him the ability to know, understand his purpose in life. If I want to kill you, okay, is the best way to do that is to, to destroy and deny you the ability to know and understand the purpose in life, why you are created. If I take away that, that ability to know, then I've finished you, yeah? So tool number 11 is therefore destruction, destruction. My mission in this world is to destroy. Number one, to destroy you as an individual. <laughs> to destroy your family. To destroy your marriage. <laughs> to destroy your job. Get sucked to go home, kaboot. To destroy your, 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 your business. <laughs> to destroy your relationship. That's why you can't keep your relationship. In a year, you have like four of them. No? I destroy them. It's a way I do that. Don't blame that, that guy. It is me. Who does that? Don't blame him. Don't blame her. But he, he, he destroyed my relations. No, it's me, the devil. Devil Manyewe. Surambaya. Eh? I'll destroy your ministry. The one you want to start next week, next year. I'll destroy it. You get a burnout. You leave it and go home. <laughs> 
and destroy, destroy. I'll destroy you. I'll destroy your everything, including the wood plants and the purpose that God has for you. <laughs> Uh, those good plants and the purpose that God has for you, I destroy them. I put even if even if you have been uh, advised to cast all your anxieties unto Christ, yeah, because He cares for you, I will still kill and destroy you. I know you have been told in First Peter chapter five verse seven that you cast all your anxieties unto Jesus because He cares for you. You don't you don't believe in that, so I will still come and destroy you. You don't believe in Him. You don't trust Him. Yeah. Because you don't remember to trust him anyway. You don't, you, you, you think your own protection will mean anything to me. No. Even if you protect yourself, how? You cannot protect me from anything. I still, I still kill you. Because I, I am a spirit. Can't do nothing. <laughs> you know, even if even if you come with armed bodyguards, they cannot they cannot do nothing to me. They, they cannot protect you. Even if you, you surround yourself, your homestead with the, the, the German shepherds, dogs, they cannot protect you. I I will still enter the compound. They will not see me. Even if you, you surround your homestead with electrical fences, you know, and the bucket of rods, and the, those ones cannot protect you, they still come in. <laughs> I will still kill, destroy you, nevertheless. No matter all the, 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 the protections you have, you have surrounded yourself with, I will still kill you. Do you know why I can kill you at ease? Do you know why? No matter how the protection you have surrounded yourself with, the war between me and you, the war between you and the mid undertaker, the devil, Surambaya, Nechin, the difference between you and me. The war between you and me, that's it. It's not against flesh and blood. You have been told this several times. I can remind you that. You want to read Ephesians 6, verse 12. Your word will tell you that devil, Manyewe, the undertaker of the world, the rule of this, the, the Surambaya, you cannot kill him, you can only resist him. And the war between you and, and, and the and the and the energy, me, is not against flesh and blood. So whenever I send my terrorists to torture you, listen and listen properly. Your father advises you in Jeremiah 33, verse 3, which you don't read, that call unto me, and I will show you great and mighty things that you do not know. That whenever I, I send my terrorists, my demons to you, instead of calling to your God 
and they, he tells you what to do on the way to go. Instead, what do you do? You run to your pastor. Pastor, please pray for me. Pray for me, my husband, my wife, my children. Grow up. If you don't grow up, I'll easily take you away. I send you my demonic Taliban to come and destroy you. Better mature, grow up. Okay. Tool number 12. What other tool can I use or do I use? The last is to kill. That's my profession is to kill, that's my tool of trade, my tool of business, to kill you. Don't feel bad if I kill you all. <laughs> my fate of, of, of death is sealed. And I've resolved that I will not die alone. You know, when, when your father comes, he's going to kill me. He's going to send me to hell. Where I, I will burn with you. So before, because my, my faith is sealed, my faith, my faith of death is sealed on his second coming, I've resolved that I will not die alone. <laughs> and that's what's going to get to die together, me and you, kill you, kill you, kill you. You know why? That's why in the recent years, I've been killing mankind in succession through what is called pandemic. Because I, I'm not going to die alone. Yeah? Yeah? That's why I've been killing you with a lot of pandemics, you know, coming on your way. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hello, is that pandemic corona, Elias variant? Hello? Okay, oh, that's that's Corona. How many people have you have you killed since yesterday? Two, you said two two thousand only. Did I hear two thousand only? Oh my God! Where where is my where is Mister Depression? And the cancer. Okay, I need an updated report on the number of deaths of this month to date by tomorrow. And I hope you are on target. I want as many people kill as possible, especially the variant, this uh, COVID 19 variant. Yeah, I don't want, don't mention 20,000 people. No. Okay. Okay, sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that uh, that was a disruption. Anyway, the following are the five pandemics lined up for you to kill you. Following are the five pandemics I've lined up for you to kill you. I'm not going to die alone. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Long to get, to get together. Pandemic number one. We have cancer. There is cancer of various kinds. You, you don't know what causes it, and it has got no cure. That one, you don't know how it comes, and there's no cure. <laughs> Number two, 
pandemic ki number two is irresistible pandemic ki number two is HIV and AIDS. Right now you behave like it is gone, it is there, killing you slowly. Yeah, killing you slowly. You know, it kills you, yet you are willing and knowingly want to die of it. You men, you men, you, you know, you know, the medicine that I have unveiled is supposed to, to do uh, two things or three. Number one, the medicine you buy for HIV, those antivirals, they're supposed to take money from your pockets. Yes. Before they kill you, they take money from your pocket. But number two, make you more attractive. You look more brown, you know, to another one so that you continue spreading the virus. You look, those, those people are taking virus. They look fleshy. They look nice. Eh? Not thin like they used to before. No, those ones are supposed to make you look nice so that they run after you. And the lastly, they are supposed to prolong your life. Why? So that you continue suffering with it in this world. <laughs> Pandemic number three, what is it? COVID-19. Hey, Corona. Corona which took away your parents is here to stay. Corona which took your, your grandmother your, is here to stay. That is a new release called, there is a, a new release now, released now called variant. Deadly. It's going to finish you. If you think, if you think you have seen you have seen death, think again. You are mistaken. If you think you have worn masks or face masks, then you are mistaken. <laughs> you are yet to bury bodies. You are yet to buy ventilators. You are yet to buy masks. You are yet to dig more graves. Yeah. The Indians are going to import firewoods to burn their bodies. Mambo Bado. Unless they change their way of burial. Of course, people are going to die. They are bombing away. So this is the pandemic number, number three, COVID-19, deadly, yeah, deadly. Pandemic number four, which I used to kill you, is called depression. This is the next mask killer. This is my next mask killer, which will, which will be depression is going to, 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 to mess the world completely. Depression is a mood disorder that, that causes a persistent feeling of sadness and a loss of interest in life. I bring it to you using stressful events such as uh, uh, a rebellion from your children. Your children are going to rebel to you. That will give you depression, you die. You develop some, some ulcers, you die. I bring depression through the death of a loved one. Maybe that, 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 that spouse you, you have, you, 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 you are proud of, is going to die. Then you get, you're going to depression, you die. I'm going to bring depression through chronic illness, which you will not heal. <laughs> then you get depression, you die. I won't bring depression through dysfunctional families and relationships. Get depression, die. I won't bring depression through lack of jobs. You get degrees. One, two, three, no job. No? You get the depression, you die. And 
another another pandemic pandemic number five <laughs> is called accidents accidents road accident air accident this is the neglected epidemic which i'm using to kill you accidents <sighs> do you remember your loved ones who have died through accidents there are many so 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 long as you continue traveling so long as you leave your house in the morning i will be killing you like cockroaches in fact i kill around 100000 people per day through road accidents worldwide yeah this number will now increase with the number of what what i've introduced called mobile phones or smartphones where you you you, you are texting and you are driving yeah are we going to die animals <laughs> accidents as my epidemic but god has promised you your god has promised you something that his mercy is new every morning and his protection is real that's your god telling you that if you are doubting that as you normally do you don't believe in him you open isaiah 42 verse 16 Isaiah 42, verse 16, your father is telling you that those who belong to him, that he will lead you the blind ways that you do not know. Along the unfamiliar path, he will guide you. He will turn the darkness in front of you into light. And the rough roads, he will make them smooth. And that crown it all, he will never leave you or forsake you. That is Isaiah 42, verse 16. But you, you, don't, you don't do this. I know you, you don't believe in him, you don't trust him, and you don't have time to read the Bible. So even if I tell you this, this is useless. I will still get you. Yeah? <laughs> now, <clears throat> Do you, do you want to die quickly? Are you here listening to me and you want to die quickly? If you want to die quickly, yeah? Leave your house in the morning without praying. If you leave your house in the morning without praying, I'll be waiting you on the road just a few meters or kilometers. I'll kill you through road accident. Let me give you a tip. Let me give you a tip. Even if you don't uh, do nothing, I'll give you a tip anyway. Every morning, pray to your father to do two things to you. Two things. Pray to your father to do two things for you every morning or else i'll finish you through road accident and that's for sure yeah <laughs> three things two things number one you pray before you, you 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 wake up in the morning tell him daddy i don't know what you call him they ask him to cover you by the blood of jesus Every morning, as you come out of his bed, of your bed, I mean, tell him to cover you by the blood of Jesus. Number one. Number two, tell him to, be, to, to build a hedge of protection around, around you and your family. Then you'll be safe. If you don't do this every morning, look at me properly. If you don't ask your father to cover you by the blood of Jesus every morning before you wake up, 
if you don't ask him to build a hedge of protection around you and your family, then I'll kill you by a road accident. Yes, I'll do that. Now, otherwise, I'll kill you and drink your blood till you, you leave your house without prayer. Yeah. So from today, if you want to, to, to increase my, my, my health by drinking your blood, you just leave your house every morning without praying. Those two things. Oh, those two things only. Don't tell him stories. Tell him, Daddy, thank you for this yet another day you have given me. But I want to rejoice in it and give thanks to you. As I leave my house now, Daddy, cover me the, by the blood of Jesus. Otherwise, the devil downstairs is going to finish me. I'll be waiting for you. Daddy, be a head of protection around me and my family. So that the devil outside is waiting for, otherwise the devil is going to finish me. And indeed, I'll be waiting for you. I know many of you don't pray. I've given you a window, a window of one month. A window of one month. If you come out of your house without praying, I'll kill you through road accident. Pandemic number number five through road accident. Anyway, in the next video, I will share with you nine bitter fruits of the devil and also give you tips on how to die quickly the depression <laughs> you know god has given you nine fruits of the of the spirit nine 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 fruit of, of the spirit yeah but i'm going to give you the spirit of the devil next video and tell you tips on how to die quickly to depression. <laughs> uh, now, if you are not my partner in sin and you have liked this video, please don't share it. Right? If you do, I'll come for you. If you are my, if you are not my partner in, in C and you have liked this video, please don't share it. If you do, I'll come for you. See you in the next video if your father does not come tonight. Yeah. Oh, my de demonic terrorists do not come your way to finish you. Have a terrible day.